Good morning dear friends. In the previous video we had been seen what is program, how a program works, what is a compiler, what is interpreter, what are the differences between compiler and interpreter and we had also seen how machine understands the program. So we will see forward installation of Python. So Python can be downloaded from the original website called python.org as given here in the link. Let me go for the link before going to that. So there are many, many number of versions in the Python. Uh, in the Python website, all the versions are available and uh, Python is a programming language which can be installed on both. I mean to say, we can install on Windows, we can install on Linux, we can install on Mac, etc. So let us uh, go for the website directly. So let me connect to the internet yeah connected let me go to the website so it's navigating to download python.org so this is original website of python python.org we are in downloads see download python 3.8.5 which is the latest version of the windows if we go downwards in this we can see active python releases since 2.7 3.5 3.6 3.7 3.8 etc so 3.8.5 is the latest version so these are the various versions which are been there among uh, available versions. So versions are nothing but updates, whatever the bugs, whatever the patches which are been there. So let us uh, go for download Python 3.8.5, which is available here. So it downloads uh, a set of file Python 3.5.8.5 executable one already had been created that file so it is showing me python 3.8.5 of 1 so there is a file exists already so you go to the double click on it it will simply runs click on run so there is an option called install now there is a custom install so if you install now it will install with the default installation so I am going with the customized installation so that all the options I can select according to my requirements. Say here add Python to environment variables which is not selected pre-compile standard library download debugging symbols etc. So I am adding all the features which are there in Python. So simply it's running. So meanwhile we will shift to our points so this website uh, python.org provides various versions so basically 3.8.5 is the version but uh, I won't recommend everyone to go with the advanced version which as I am downloading 3.8.5 so you download the version 3.7 and above or 3 and above which is enough sufficient our battery is a 3.6.8 I feel it's very comfortable version uh, see here I had been given something so installing of Python continued so when you execute the Python Windows installer click on install now button so automatically I had been selected now customize okay so it will create so after installation it will create a, a file called Python 3832 in terms of C users, uh, this is my username. 
application data, local programs. So we can see inside it. So once uh, we had been created this, just to remember the path. When the installer is been finished, the Python interpreter, comma the ideal programming integrated development learning environment IDLE and the Python documentation will be installed in your machine. So when you click on start button and look at your all programs listed like uh, see let me click on start button like uh, the programs sorry here the list of programs are there see these are the programs are there let us go whether python is installed so it's uh, almost ending once it finishes off see when you click the start button and uh, look at all your your all programs you should see a program group in terms of windows uh, 10 which i'm speaking now there is something called python 3.8 I will show you within short it consists of one is called IDLE one is called Python 3.8 manuals one is called Python module documents one is Python 3.8 so whatever the recommended version from my side are there 3.6.8 3.7.5 3.8.5 which is a new version of Python let us see it's still in finishing mode so what is ideally ideally stands for integrated development and learning environments ideally combines several development tools into one program including the following one is called python shell means uh, like command prompt in windows or does ms dos command prompt like a windows shell in windows python shell which is used to execute the python statements directly from the command prompt or python shell there is a second thing called python a text editor where we can write the python programs there is third one called a check module tool that checks a python program for the errors and uh, there is something called search tool to find a text in one or more files there is text formatting tools and uh, a debugger uh, which allows to check the programs and uh, some of the other advanced tools which are been available so disable path length limits so let us close so installation of python is been finished off so let us go on to start button let us go with the python python p y t h o n m u n o p p p yeah here we find python see as i mentioned one is called idle python 3.8 python 3.8 manuals python 3.8 model docs these are the four things will be available in python 3.8 so let us uh, step into using of ideally using shell so how to open ideally so as all other programs we will open from the start button click on to the start button or start button and find python ideally so where is the python yeah here is python let us click on idle so here is python idle so let us go for font so this to be increased let me take double apply okay so this is the default python 3.8.5 shell so there are menus called file menu edit menu shell menu debug options window 
help right so we know the default file menu new file open file open module once we go for creation of modules we will see what is module what are the recent files module browser to go for module also then save save as here we will be looking about how to use the python 3.5 3.8.5 ideally this is like simple command prompt where we can write a print of let us say a scene it generates let us say print of number 5 simply print of 5 so print is a command here which is used to print so I want to quit from the idle so how to quit from the idle so there is a way called exit or shortcut is available here called control plus Q or you can write a simple statement called quit click on enter key your program is still running do you want to kill it so it's a process so I want to kill it so it's closed so we had learned something called how to open an ideal and how to use it and uh, how to close it so what are the key options in menus which are frequently used we will discuss in the next studio